So in this lesson, we are going to cover 360 deals, a uh, type of record deal that has gotten more and more popular these days as the whole industry has changed. And basically what a 360 deal is, is it's a record type deal where the label is taking a percentage of multiple streams of income, basically all the income that an artist can make and I want to go over every single one of those so that means they are tapping into every single one of these incomes like we're gonna go over for instance licensing um, they're gonna go get a percentage of all your sinks your TV uh, your film movies anything that you get synchronized into licensing video games and I'm gonna write these down so you can take notes as well video games movies uh, TV placements uh, and anything else that hasn't been created yet, okay, they will take uh, a piece of. Anything that your music gets licensed into. And the, the whole purpose of a 360 deal is is basically they if they're going to take a percentage of it, they're supposed to be going after it for you. That means they're supposed to bring opportunities to the table. At least they're supposed to, okay. But sometimes they don't. But typically, basically, is like... If they're going to take do a 360 deal, that means they should be involved in all of these, not just sucking the life out of all of these, but they should be bringing opportunities like these to the table. So if I'm going to share a piece of the pie, especially all of it, you better dang be bringing opportunities to the table or, or why are we doing it? Because really, you know, record labels, unless they've got the in-house uh, ability to bring all these opportunities to the table. Why do you want a piece of everything? You know, so really it's 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 a way for the label just to take more income from the artist, in my opinion. But some of them do do a good job in 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 providing opportunities. But if they don't, then there should be a clause in there that says, you know what, you don't get it. Recording, of course, selling CDs, streaming, they get a piece of all of it. That's very normal to get that in a traditional record deal. So that's nothing new. That's just the same stuff. Streaming, you know, uh, selling CDs, iTunes, you know, digital downloads. Okay, they get a piece of that, all right? That's normal. But then they get a piece of your merchandising, your online store. You're giving them a piece of that. You're giving them a piece of your, um, uh, any t-shirt sales. Uh, if you do a merchandising deal, you know, some of these really big artists... Um, that have their t-shirts in stores and those kiosks that you see in the mall. They get actually merchandise deals. That means they take a piece of that. They're really taking a piece of your brand. They're really where your brand is, your logo. Like we're talking like big bands like Metallica or Kiss or Eminem or just like these really huge, huge artists. Like not all of them sign 360 deals. Like I almost guarantee you, um, what's his name, dude? I'm trying to think of the 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 the, the guy in uh, Kiss. I guarantee you, he didn't sign a 360 deal. He just has the rights to that himself. Okay, so you got to understand what you're giving up. I'm trying to paint the picture here for you. If you get a book deal, you know, a movie deal, you know, look at 50 Cent. Look at Eminem, look at all these dudes that are doing these movies. They're an actor. Justin Timberlake's acting a lot. If you get a movie deal, like they, because they invested in you, they want a piece of everything. Okay, so understand what you are giving away. If you get asked to speak um, at an event, they want your appearances. You know, live shows that kind of goes into touring here, but I'm talking appearances outside of the regular touring because with touring, then they want you know your your booking fee. And so they should be bringing booking shows. And I have heard of some labels, you know, creating departments to become booking agents. And so they want a piece of the booking as well, too, which means, and I'm going to be interviewing some artists that you'll be able to listen to that have signed 360 deals, which means they have to, you have to buy merchandise from the, uh, the label. And I've heard sometimes that they control the designs. The label controls the designs. How insane is that? You know, you're buying your merch all from the label. They're controlling everything. That just scares me, to be honest. It scares me. It really scares me that, they, that, that they're tapping into that in a 360 deal. Publishing isn't anything new. You know, percentage uh, of, of your writing, they, they, they want a percentage of that. Well, hopefully, 
it's pretty normal for a lot of labels to include that in many traditional deals. And of course, in a 3-6 deal, they want all of it, right? So maybe they want 20 to, you know, it could be 10 to, to 20%. I've definitely seen uh, as far as your writing. And then hopefully, again, they'll try and get you in more uh, films, video games and stuff so that they can get a piece of the publishing and, of course, radio, right? And and streaming and all the other things. That's where it really connects to your publishing. Anywhere your music is publishing, they want a piece. And sure, and it's, it's supposed to incentivize them to work harder on your behalf. They don't normally do that. But again, getting a piece of it. And so these are just some of the income streams that they'll be tapping into in a 360 deal. And anything else that is has not has not been invented yet, I'm sure they'll make a clause for that. You know, because you got to understand, many years ago, digital didn't even exist yet as far as MP3s. So they want a piece of the whole pie. And again, if the label's going to make the pie bigger, then why not? But if they're not, then don't just sign it. If you're a brand new artist and don't got anything going on and, you know, like you're just signing a really bad deal and they're just taking everything you own, you got to be careful what you sign, okay, and know what you're doing. Because if they're not investing in you and they're not earning this, they should be earning this for you. They shouldn't just be taking and, and uh, you know, sucking the life out of you as an artist so that you can't make any money. So we're going to see what happens with this. But uh, I strongly suggest you negotiate. And I, I, I personally would never do a 360 deal unless they are bringing, making the pie huge. Like I'm talking huge so that it makes sense. Like it has to make sense. If they're just taking a piece of this for no reason just to take it, taking a piece of this just for, for no reason. Like I get it. Like if they're getting you licenses and they got connections to big TV placements and movies, sure, of course, take a piece of it. Why not? You know, if they're getting you crazy distribution, selling CDs that you can and getting you placements, then sure. If they're getting a merchandise deal and getting your 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 uh, T-shirts and stuff sold across the, you know, the nation and different stores and hooking up deals and getting your brand and blowing you up, of course. But if they're not and they're just, poaching your your touring and your appearances and everything then no no way man okay so i hope that explains 360 deals and understanding that they are taking a piece of every possible income stream that you make as an artist whether it's even been invented yet or not they're gonna they're gonna want a piece of it when that becomes okay so again know what you're signing get a lawyer to look at the contract and negotiate